coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Super Bowl 53 will be a no drone zone. Flightwave Aerospace's tilt pod enables smooth, stable flights of quadcopters. And Newark drone may have been another false alarm. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world. With more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country, I'm Skylar Vanell. As people around the country get ready for the Patriots and Rams to face off in Atlanta, the FAA has been doing their part to warn operators of the UAS airspace restrictions for Super Bowl 53. Bring your lucky jersey. Bring your face paint. Bring your team spirit. But leave your drone at home and make the game safe for everyone. The big game is a no drone zone. The FAA recommends all aircraft operators to check NOTAMs often for mandatory airspace restrictions prior to operations within this area. In the next Drone Minute, we'll take a look at the stories making the rounds in the small UAS and hobby drone communities. DJI has released additional details about the fraud that reportedly cost the company about $147 million. During the investigation, they found some employees inflated the cost of parts and materials for certain products for personal financial gain. The company took swift action to address this issue and dismissed employees who violated company policies. They also contacted law enforcement officials. DJI did not say how many employees were involved. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California have begun transmitting a new set of commands to the Opportunity rover in an attempt to compel the 15-year-old Martian explorer to contact Earth. The new commands address low likelihood events that could have occurred aboard Opportunity, preventing it from transmitting. The rover's last communications with Earth was received on June 10th of 2018 as a planet-wide dust storm blanketed parts of the planet. Photos of what is reported to be the Russian Hunter drone prototype have surfaced on the internet. Imagery began circulating on Russian social media on January 23rd, with several more showing up thereafter. They showed an aircraft that looks very much like the MQ-25 being developed for the U.S. Navy. The images were likely captured by plane spotter near the runway at the Novobrisk Aviation Plant. The Camp AMA registration is now open as most of the country is trying to stay warm during the latest polar vortex. We take you back to a warmer Muncie, Indiana, as the A&N crew had the chance to visit the program last summer. It's for pilots that are ages 13 to 19. We bring them out for a week and we let them fly all day with kids that are their age and then we do activities at night. We really just kind of try to keep their interest in aviation by including other kids their age. The Academy of Model Aeronautics offers programs designed to foster interest in model aviation. To watch the full program, visit Aero TV's YouTube channel and search for Camp AMA. Well, that wraps up your Drone Minute. Flightwave Aerospace's tilt pod enables smooth, stable flights of quadcopters. The next generation of aircraft could take on new appearances and capabilities, according to Flightwave Aerospace. Flightwave has developed a new control system they call the tilt pod, which the company describes as a compact motor, propeller, and servo with a thrust and tilting function. The new configuration has the potential to effectively eliminate the pitch and roll aspect of quadcopters, enhancing stability and control. Flightwave's Edge UAS is already equipped with the tilt pod, which allows their airframes to hover without tilting its whole body forward. And instead of tilting the aircraft, only the motor needs to be inclined. Flightwave CTO said eliminating pitch and roll would be beneficial for engineers and would save a lot of time as they compensate for this. 
With TiltPod-powered UAS, there would no longer be a need for different types of sensors and cameras to be self-leveling, making it a lot easier to target. The craft is highly maneuverable. It has quick movement and precision control in tight spaces, which means it can maneuver through warehouses and manufacturing plants that may only have centimeters of clearance available. A Newark drone may have been just another false alarm. Reports of a drone caused delays at Newark Airport for about 20 minutes, but they may have just been another false alarm. The FAA said it had been unable to confirm the sightings which were reported by a Southwest and United Airlines pilot, and they will continue to work with local law enforcement to find additional evidence. The objects were initially spotted about nine miles from airspace used by aircraft on approach. While the pilots and many others immediately said drone, others said not so fast. Brendan Schulman, a spokesperson for DJI, said that it's very unlikely that the pilots saw a UAV. The object was reportedly flying at 3,500 feet, and while that is possible, Schulman said it is highly unlikely it was a drone. Cases where objects reported as a drone turned out just to be a balloon, a bat, and even a plastic grocery bag. Well, that wraps up our show for this week. If you have a story suggestion, send us an email at news-spy at arrow-news.net. Check out our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. For real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories, head on over to arrow-news.net. And you can go over to modelaircraft.org for information on the exciting hobby drone world. We will see you next week.